Everybody, hello. Welcome to a very, very special live house arrest. Where on earth are we? This is Lisa Laporta. And he's Clive Pierce. Well, you probably can see behind me, actually it's gone a little quieter than a moment ago, a lot of animals, which is frankly my favorite place in the world we could possibly be. Let me tell you, I say a special event because we are live from the world headquarters of the Linda Blair World one of the largest rescues in America. Getting the scoop for your dog here on this show today. How so excited, and we are surrounded by dogs. We normally do makeovers. You've seen a lot of our shows where we transform rooms. This is more about us getting in there, rolling up our sleeves, and helping out. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> First of all, we've all been friends for what? 20 years. <laughs> he has been a volunteer forever. We have hosted a lot of events to help animals. You have been here. You've helped me in every capacity. This Lisa will always show up to help at any of the events that we have been lucky enough to do to help the animals. She's a good woman. You always help, but I've never asked you for your expertise and favor. So what today is, is I have People come here for their adoptions. This way they have the largest of selections. Everybody is pre-applications, virtual home tours, and so on. It's very serious for the dogs and rescuing. We had six more dogs come in today, which you already yeah. saw. Yeah. So I'd like to adopt I, them all. And and they're wonderful dogs. They're in our shelters across America. So please you know, go visit your shelters, rescue groups, support the work we do. It's life threatening, it's like saving, and it's really, really hard, it's very stressful. But at the same time, people can see in the background our pens, this is where the dogs are free and they can play with the dogs. Now we're gonna go to the area that I've asked, I need help. So let's go let's ahead take and take, let's take a, a little walk. Wow, it's, you know, do you remember last week was 110 degrees so Yeah, and people don't realize how hard that is on us trying to take care of the animals, provide pools, water, air conditioning, a lot of expenses. So in this area over here, we have two of my favorite oh. best volunteers. Hello. Hello. These are two of my best volunteers. And then these are two of the dogs up for adoption. Mr. Butters, I'm who we get love, in. Mr. Butters, and Mr. Taylor. Oh. And these are two dogs that come, were in the Lisa, shelter. Come, come, come and be licked. Come. I want some of this. <laughs> come and be licked. Oh. He's a very good boy. Oh. Very good boy. I, I, think, I think it's important that people know Lisa's allergic to dogs. <laughs> Just to make and this so, more entertaining for you at home. Yeah, yeah, so you know, I'm aware of it. And as her friend, so what we're going to do is, as you can see, <laughs> here you have two humans and two dogs. But the space is very tight. Let's, let's all move into position. So the yeah, space see. is very tight. So virtually, Lisa, let me demonstrate 90% <laughs> of the time, I end up on the ground, which is fine. Right. But it's not exactly perfect. And when you have families and kids and so on and so forth, I would like to expand. So this is really cute, but it is tight. So I came up with on my Amazon Smile account, which is Amazon's charity account, Linda Blair World Heart Foundation, Amazon Smile, and they donate on Damn your behalf. Good. They donate on your behalf, but it does help us pay major shots, medical, rescuing, food, and everything. So it kept coming up on my feed. This this couch set that I was like, how oh, I wanted, I wanted, but right. I thought it, for five hundred dollars, it had to have been, you know, maybe not so good. Because the set is, if you go to some of the big box stores or, or so on, you'll see it for like 3000 And we don't ever, I, I'm really frugal. The dogs get the money. It's food and it's this and that. Oh, so frugal. So I'm also I, frugal. I brought it to your attention and said, what do you think? You researched it and said, I think it's going to be good. So I went ahead and bought it. And today you're going to gift us. Incredible we're going to set it up. And we're going to make a, a bigger space so that when adoptions are taking place in the tent, Families of four or five people. Uh, More than two dogs and two wonderful. people can sit down together, so that's, spend time with the dogs, exactly. and hopefully help you. It's very cute, but very small. They're, you know, they are being incredibly fabulous. May I take a, a picture? 
Of sure. course. Fabulous. So look, oh, I I'm going to get your... Us. Oh, there you are. <laughs> but watch. Yeah, we'll really step out. This is, okay, this is what we do a lot. So <laughs> smile. Yay! 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 Now, so cute. Lisa and Clive, get in there. This is what, so yes. selfies yeah, you come on here. and okay. pictures are sit on your lap part of the process. Dog. Smile, yay! yay! So see, but this is part of it, me photographing the dogs and up for adoption. So what do you think, Lisa, with those 16 minutes left, Hold shall on. we? 17. Oh my yes. God! 17. Ah, <laughs> magic! <laughs> Let's start doing this transformation. All right. Now, so, can I just I say guess... that Lisa magically has helpers that they just follow you around when you go shopping, it's, it's, when you're going out for dinner. So have you? It's it's not magic. It's, it's being smart. Sexy fellows. Well, we have to have sexy hunky helpers. Absolutely. Josh and Destin are my superheroes. Yay! Josh and Destin are going to help us Yay. today. Hello, hello, hunks. Uh, hello. Yeah, so what gentlemen. we're going to do is I'm going to have my two favorite volunteers and doggies up for adoption again, but us yep. and Taylor. Taylor, yes. Wonderful, playful, fabulous. Oh, and we'll see you guys in a minute. Okay. When, it's, when it's much these bigger. Dogs. I, and there are so many other amazing dogs here. Oh all right, God, time's up. Like, time's up. Let's right. begin this makeover. So, all right, so I'm going to grab this side. Oh, you want to grab this yes. side? Yes. And we're going to take this out. out that way. But not too far because I want to reuse that table. All right, so we'll put it where you'll put it right here. All right, Lisa, what do you want? Okay, let's. And the oh, we actually have a, someone who has a question for oh, Linda. Just a quick question for Linda from All one right. of our fireside viewers. Hey, how you doing? What's your question for Linda Blair? Hi, Linda. Thanks so much for taking the time to be with us all today virtually. It's great. And for those of us who want to contribute to animal rescue efforts, my question is, if we already have a, adopted our furry friends, I rescued my cat a couple years ago, what else do you recommend uh, for you know, folks to contribute uh, if they can no longer adopt more animals. What else can we do to help out, especially with your organization? Well, for for my organization, if you're anywhere in the Los Angeles area or visiting, you can put in an application to volunteer. You can donate. It's on the website, lindablairworldheart.org, Facebook, Linda Blair World Heart, Instagram, and Twitter. Or if you're in a different area, volunteer, um, do blanket drives, uh, do donations are really crucial because then the rescues get what they need. So like we have feral cats here and a lot of people don't know that. And I feed them, um, can't catch them, but I do feed them. And um, so, you know, some people even help in and send some, some cat food, uh, which really helps me to help them because a lot of people are just dumping. Right now what's happening is the biggest crisis coming out of the pandemic. And so people are literally dumping their dogs everywhere, trying to rehome. And this is every day we get phone calls and emails and a lot of people don't realize it's really stressful. We mostly do shelter rescue because that's what is on death row. So they're continually coming in. And then we do the adoptions. We're looking for forever homes and people that are gonna do fun things with the dogs, go to the beach, families, activities. And that's why today was so important to try to make it a little more easy and comfortable for my adoption. We're gonna we're gonna do our makeover, but Shannon, if you not during the show, but afterwards, if you go to Linda Blair, Linda Blair, Linda Blair, no, why is it Linda, Linda Blair? Blair Linda Blair World Blair World Blair World Blair World Blair and everything is there. Thank you so much for your question. Thank you Donations so much. Donations mean everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Actually, it's looking different already. Look. Oh my God, Lisa's She's so, so fast. amazing. I'm going to take this out and contribute to the makeover. It is amazing what you find. On online, you get some really good deals, especially with patio furniture. Well, that is think what for me, I, I it kept coming up on my feed, which is what's so weird. Yes, and I was like, it can't be, it just can't be. That's why I asked you to take a look at it. What do you think? Because I'm so desperate to make it more comfortable for people. And in the winter, I've got heaters out here. Right. And blankets. I literally oh. put blankets on people. That's and in the summer, I have little fans. It's hot and it's really cold. But we were, we were built out of an emergency from working. So this was supposed to be here for two years. I did just enough. Almost 16 years later. This is almost my 16th year anniversary. That's right. December. That's right. Yes. That's right. How many dogs did you rescue from her? 
So I was brought in by a, the main volunteer of the main group that was there. And she said, get your blank blank down here. And I said, if there's a lot of misinformation, but we thought you had too many people. And she said, no, no, crazy had to go. People were freaking out so bad. It left all of us with PTSD. It was horrific. Yes. So they brought me in and then I was told we need to get 350 of the remaining animals out. They gave me, they're like, you can have anything you need. But I didn't want to, I didn't. There's reasons and complications. So far, incoming. But we got 350 animals out and I took 51 and traveled across country. 51? Yourself? Yes. Oh my God. Uh, dear, could you move that night All stand? Right. Could you go so, under like a ferret? No, I'm not going to go under. Like one of Linda's sofa. feral cats. Can, can some, here, just exactly. set it down oh, for a second. They, they party. I'm and, sure. By the way, they do party. And we'll move. Set it down so as know. close as you can get it into place, and then we'll move it. Here, I'm going to get back this. And then you can move oh, Linda. Go on, get under there. Well, what do you think? You know, most of our dogs are people. I think I found a bit of trail mix on the floor. It was getting quite peckish. Oh. I know, it's probably <laughs> And then it's having a rabbit. No, no, no. Okay. I don't know that I, I didn't realize it was going to come in. She's so clever. She should have a makeover show. Okay. I'm just going to adjust right. these two. Yeah, I, we need to straighten out to a little bit so you can get out of there. How many people do you think we'll be able to accommodate with a, for an adoption, like a family of five? Well, in a minute, we can all jump on the couch together and, and find yes. out. We're missing a piece for this side. I think we have an extra. We do. Okay, let's bring that in. Ah, I, I knew thought, that. I thought we had additional arm. Oh, we may have to push this. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right, let's bring you the table, table in. Hey, everybody watch out. We uh -huh. are working up. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, guys, I think Josh, can you find the bag of pillows that yes. we have? And bring that. We can maybe pull from that. Um, and then please make sure you you guys know. So what I do is I leave decorations here, and then if you ever go on my website and look under the dogs for adoption, you might find dogs wearing the glasses and hat. But this is how, like I keep them nearby. When you keep people engaged, you keep people interested, and you bring out the personality. There you go, guys. Put it somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Goes on. Got some sunshine. With like it. looking in the mirror. We've got lots. You, you have, have lots of pillows. Quick, see that? That's Valentine's Day. Oh, oh, look! Isn't this nice? I'm my favorite. I love sunflowers. Yeah, you know why they're called pro pillows? Anybody wants to know? I love sunflowers. And you know what else I love? This to me was really important. A lot of people were seeing supporting our troops. Oh. Red, white, and blue. I am pro America. Listen, we are so glad to live in this country. I just want to be more respectful. All right. I know you are. I'm so proud of you. Right? Now, I don't want to I have too many pillows. No. Yes, quickly, okay. even though in the tabloids it said we were. We're apparently, we are married. Did you know? Did you know? And apparently, we're married. And we're a horrible love triangle. So, you know, there's you're a little bit of swimming. He is. I think we could all do better. What? But nothing. Excuse me. Yes. Wait a minute, Lisa. My two wives. Lisa, I think we need to leave. Okay, <laughs> producer Dashta, how much time do we have left? Nine minutes. I made Where that up, but it sounds good on a show that's live and you're kind of in a rush. Where's my little bunny or puppy doggy? Here, they're all yeah, I, I know, I'm a sucker for stuffed toys. Okay. I know, go. I'm sorry. This is my baby. This is my baby baby. Do the dogs love them? I love um, them. Butters was I trying to ignore us. Oh, I know. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. Boy, Lisa, this is, that's this a, that's just looks. Let's get a long that's a shot of this. a lot of pillows. Linda, I'm going to let Let's you get, get a really, this really wide shot. This is amazing. I think when the dogs come in in a few minutes, they're all going to have their own to their own. That's the other part of it. Nothing is a good deal. Yeah. So, so um, how, how now, many adoptions look, happen here, Now, let's Linda? wait. Let's look at what Lisa has done. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, nobody is. Look, look. I can. Oh my gosh! I can take a nap. There no, really were now, only this, enough seats so, for like three people. The fact this that is you did better. this and approved it. I mean, come on. Now you can have families. You can have kids. The dogs. Listen, they're all over the place. They're happy. They're excited. They're on the ground. But, you know, sometimes some people are a little reserved. Yes. And they're like, 
who they really want to sit. Sometimes grandparents are here as well. Yes. So they need and a so chance to play with the dog. And so, you know, we can move the table out, but look at the space that you have created here. That is what this was all about, is helping me to make it better so the dogs can get more opportunities to, for, for adoption. It's because perfect. if the dogs are too excited, people get a little turned off sometimes. Is it the case also that when a doggy comes up here and there's a family, you if you are slightly set back, it gives them a chance to, because you know all the dogs, right. so it gives them a chance to bond and just get to I know the dog on their own? I am always supervising, or somebody from my team. Right. That's a must for every reason in the world. And also we teach people. I give lessons, we give lessons, we go out on the trails and we walk, showing how to walk a dog properly. It's a lot of misconceptions about dog so I always tell people look they're gonna come out like game show contestants <laughs> and they do trust me and they're like oh my god somebody's so interested in me I can't oh my god and some people can never get past that and other people get it <laughs> give them five minutes to just go and, the smell and then and fall in love it. and then the same thing when they get into a house they all of a sudden decompress compressed because it's a new experience everything changes yes. but teaching people mental physical stimulation for the animals is the biggest thing and proper food and nutrition that's what i teach here and that is what i want the public to know it's my main work i work against canine disease and i think i have a master pretty well so i want people to follow and understand i am looking for the greater good to help the animals do you want me to bring over some fun doggies yes, yes. Well, we actually have a caller oh, though a caller. Oh, let's take another caller, caller. okay and then we'll, then we'll meet our, our showbiz doggies okay. let's see who we have hey guys uh, i hope you can hear me I'm trying to figure out this technology okay. ali khan here uh clive you're cracking me up keep it up i'm enjoying that um it's awesome i i love hearing all the stories about you know the charitable work you guys are, you're doing with animals linda it's amazing I, I, we adopt we rescue dogs we're on, our, we're on our second rescue dog so lots of love there did want to ask this is um for uh uh lisa i mean look i know you work you're, you're always working on houses whether it's on the tube or in in the real world as well kind of curious what it's like working with an outdoor space what I it's an outdoor room so really it's all about scale and placement and making it as cozy as possible but you always need enough seating and more than enough seating you know I think you can never have enough seating in an outdoor space so it's always nice to buy those stacks of outdoor chairs that you can tuck away in the garage for when you do a party Bring them out and you have more seating. Okay, but wait, I gotta say something about Miss Lisa. Because Miss Lisa and I agree, and everyone does too. We all have color schemes. Yes. We all have things that balance us the feng shui. So you find your colors. And what I've watched Lisa do through the years and on the new show is, so she's um, making color pop. So she's got, you had the orange and the turquoise. Yes. And I laugh because I'm like, turquoise is my color as well. Yes. But clearly coordinating all of that. And that's what Lisa, like for here, we have to have curtains. So Lisa is really good at saying, look at your daylight your sunlight, your um, your uh, tents, your, your, your umbrellas. You can bring all that in and shopping. Uh, we are all very frugal. Yes. And Lisa's incredible with that. <laughs> and she can help give direction on where you can shop, whether online. For Linda Flair World Heart on Amazon Smile. Go there. Go there. Donate yeah, on yeah. your behalf. Or some of the, the stores that are lesser priced, but they're the overstock stores. And Lisa's a master at... The, the place, the table placement, you know, uh, the, 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 the tableware yes. and, and the colors and flowers and things like Wait, that. Wait, I'm getting sold here by Linda. Yeah, but, but that I is what her jam is. And that's, I mean, I've always known her for doing this. I was a fan of theirs from the beginning. And that's kind of how we met originally. Uh, design to sell yeah. and yeah. through the years design star yeah. blah, blah, blah. so and then watching the new show so um, you got to follow her because she's the best of the best at Lisa Laporta at Clive Pierce and oh Linda Blair world there we yes. go yes thanks so much for your question thanks for watching the show I want to say thank you so much to both of you for helping me to make it easier because doing rescue is so stressful 
It's financial. It's keeping the food going, keeping the water in 110 degree heat. You don't know how you do it. And saying, you don't understand, it's so hot. Yeah. Keeping up the air conditioners. In the winter, we've got the heaters. And, you know, you have the winds out here. So people think of rain, all these different things, and keeping the dog comfortable. Your donation support and help. But this is for the families that come and want to adopt. And it's also to show, to take pictures and show them because everybody wants to see cute pictures. So this is Jackson. He's the star of our show. today. He's the star of our show. That's right. To everybody watching us on Fireside, this is my favorite episode so far. Don't tell anybody. But for Linda Blair, we say a very big thank you. Linda Blair, worldheart.org. And uh, thank you for joining us live across the world. We'll see you next time. Thank you.